Well, on this Sunday afternoon, we got some storms to track. Hello, everybody. Let's take a look at the warnings that we have right now. We have a tornado watch actually in effect for most of the area from Jefferson County back toward the west. Includes Leon County, also includes Jefferson, Wakola, over toward Liberty County, Franklin County, too. And that just means tornadoes are possible with in addition to the severe weather threat through about 6 o'clock tonight. But more importantly, outside of that watch now, we have severe thunderstorm warnings for Brooks and Lowndes County, includes the city of Valdosta. Gusty winds have already been a uh, factor with these storms well ahead of the storms, actually. And we're going to take a look at the radar and a little closer look here. Notice how a line of storms, nothing severe at the moment from uh, Thomasville West, just nasty line of storms moving through Quincy, Bainbridge. You were under the gun a little bit earlier. Mariana also saw some strong storms, isolated power outages and some trees down throughout the area, but nothing uh, really serious at this time. But right now, actually, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning that's in effect and for Brooks and Lowndes County until 315. So we're going to keep an eye on this storm. It's on the eastern and northeastern portion of our viewing area. Storms moving at about 40 miles per hour. And as I mentioned, strong storms are moving through. Gusty winds capable of producing upwards of 60 miles per hour. Maybe small hail, but winds are definitely the more damaging threat. And as I mentioned, you know if you're stepping outside, the winds are gusty well ahead of the storm. Even Taylor County, Jefferson County, where it's not raining, you've been gusty all morning with winds upwards of 30 or 35 miles per hour. The other thing, of course, anytime you get thunderstorms in Florida or South Georgia, you see the lightning, and that's certainly been the case over the last 30 minutes with lots of flashes to the north and west of Tallahassee, but that's beginning to move into the area. Wind gusts have been high, 36 in Quincy, 32 miles per hour in Thomasville, 35 miles per hour in Vadasta. Of course, the severe stuff is moving through, so I imagine some wind gusts will be upwards of at least 50 miles per hour. The setup that we have going on is a strong area of low pressure that's ejecting out of the Gulf of Mexico, producing the strong showers and thunderstorms. And yes, we could see one or two tornadoes, but the bigger threat is going to be the wind around here, and we've already seen a lot of that this morning. In addition to that, after about 6 o'clock tonight, when the tornado watch expires, we have a flash flood watch in effect, and that's in effect until Monday night. So this will quickly move from a severe weather threat to a flood threat as we head through the day tomorrow. Speaking of which, here's our threat level. Tornadoes are low, wind, and now especially flood is even higher because as we head toward late tonight and into tomorrow, we could see between 2 and 4 inches widespread across the area with even higher amounts, more like five or six inches in a few communities. So make sure you take it easy and uh, stay inside as much as you can as long as a severe threat exists. Flooding will be a problem tomorrow, so in those low-lying areas, especially near the coast, you're going to want to take it easy and maybe not drive too much tomorrow. Uh, could see some flooding issues. We're already seeing some points around the St. Mark's River near Newport on Old Magnolia Road, Road in Wakola County there is a flood warning up for you. So stay tuned to FSU Weather for the latest. Again, a severe thunderstorm watch is in effect, sorry, a tornado watch in effect until 6 o'clock tonight for all of the area except for um, Madison and Taylor counties. We also have a flash flood watch in effect for the entire region until tomorrow night. And then a uh, severe thunderstorm warning currently in effect for Lowndes and Brooks County in South Georgia includes the city of Valdosta until 315.